Hi, if you're looking for information on soundproofing a wall or ceiling, you've come to the right place. My name is Ned Schatzer and I'm the owner of Hush Soundproofing in New York City. What is soundproofing? A lot of people think soundproofing is uh, green glue with quiet rock. Just add a layer of green glue and some quiet rock and we're going to do the soundproofing or rock wool. The thing about soundproofing is there's no one solution to your problem. It's actually multiple techniques combined that give us an overall reduction. So the first thing we like to do after we kindly take your ceiling down is we like to fill in all the gaps in the cracks with spray foam or an acoustical caulk. Um, we like to wrap your HVAC ductwork with neoprene insulation. We like to use spray foam around pipes, um, electrical. We seal up every little crack and crevice that we find that could potentially transfer sound from the floor above. Just a small little crack or hole can transfer up to 50% of the sound on the other side. It's the same thing for a door. If you can see light, you can hear sound. So we make sure that we just really get nerdy about it and we seal up every little tiny thing we can find. The next thing we do is we install two layers of sheetrock with mass loaded vinyl in between the joists. We start to weaken the sound waves on impact. As the sound is traveling through the subfloor, we want to start to kill that immediately before we get to our insulation unit. Moving on to the insulation, what the insulation is doing is it's actually, if you hit the top of a drum, and in our case, the subfloor is the top of the drum, the bottom of the drum would be your sheetrock on your ceiling. So the reflection that's happening within that cavity is resonating and it's amplifying and then it's passing through. What the insulation does is it actually mitigates and it starts reducing the reflection within the cavity. That's a misconception that people have is that insulation actually stops sound. It doesn't. It weakens the waves within the cavity so that we don't have an amplified drum that's pushing the sound from above into your room. So we use two layers of Rockwool Safe and Sound along with Rockwool Comfort Board. And Rockwool Comfort Board is a dense compacted mineral wool. And the two different types of insulations, they reduce different frequencies. The next thing that we do is we install a resilient isolation clip. Now we're getting into the decoupling process. So if we think about a ball dropping on one side of the room, okay, and that can be heard on the other side of the room because the vibration continues to travel through the joists along the sheetrock that's attached to your ceiling. So by decoupling, we're separating the joists from the sheetrock, and now we only have one screw every 32 inches to transfer the vibration. The next process would be installing mass, which would be more sheetrock with mass-loaded vinyl in between. A lot of people like to use green glue in between two layers of quiet rock or two layers of sheetrock. I like mass loaded vinyl. Um, the reason being is it just works better. People don't like to use it because it's difficult. It's a heavier material, it costs more, it just works. It's better than green glue. It's 10 times better than green glue. The next thing that we do is we encase the whole entire treatment with a level five skin coat. That's just adding another eighth inch layer of mass to the entire ceiling. So you can never have enough mass. Mass is what really stops sound. We're talking concrete, wood, um, sheetrock, that's mass. So we're looking at an overall 70% reduction for the entire treatment. The thing about frequencies under 80 Hertz so they're very hard to remove. Good thing for us is they aren't the frequencies that really affect us the most. The frequencies that we're really alerted by are in between 300 hertz up to 4 kilohertz. So that's like a baby cry, that's yelling, screaming, a bang. We're alerted by this because it's ingrained in us for our survival. We're supposed to respond to these frequencies. However, when we're at home, we're trying to relax in our own cube, 
in our own environment being affected by other people's you know noise can really give us a lot of anxiety spike our cortisol levels uh, lower our dopamine give us high blood pressure anxiety and this is all mental health and you know uh, physical health issues that we're experiencing so we have a lot of different information on our website if you want to check it out this is for everyone we encourage contractors to contact us if you want to do a consultation we can help you out if you guys have any questions you can always comment below we're happy to help um, if you want to send us an email it's info at hush.info if you enjoyed this video if you learned something please like and subscribe and we'll be making a lot more content for you guys We'll see you soon. Thanks.